So we are at the pickup part and trying to look for uh, my daughter's uh, schoolies. Uh, what is it? Seatbelts and a, a jump seat, like a middle row seat. The cool the pilot. Seat. Yeah, the cool pilot seat, this pretty right much. Next to the driver's seat. Let's see if we have something in here. This is the captain seat, so we cannot use any of those seats. They're too Bummer. wide. This is from old Odyssey here. Eric is trying to find a padding. He found it. Boy, got it. Ooh, is this it? Did the condition of the other one? Yeah, we found another one. We didn't look at it. We got lucky. We found two vehicle with jump seat and both the gray some a little bit um darker than the other so we're gonna try to get of course the better one and since this is a three-point seat belt system and they actually come from the ceiling so we're gonna try to remove this to take the mechanism with us and somehow we can mount it trying to find somehow uh, mount those seats to the floorboard of the school bus these are welded to the chassis so it's not gonna work so we have to do something else oh. we're gonna go to so we took it goes all the way to where oh right here this bolt here. is what's holding all the seatbelt on but here's the mechanism uh, and then it runs all the way up to the front so wow. we gotta yank the whole headliner down to get it out <laughs> there's a bracket here the bracket that holds this air conditioning fan yeah So the deal is, is this is going to lock in like so, right? Mm -hmm. it, we'll move it down to the edge, but the way it's going to work is something like this. That's close. You it's, see what I'm looking at? Yeah, that's, I know. It, that's what I was looking at earlier and if it's going to be... It looked fine when we did it on this side. Probably this is the one that, um, the bigger one. Big size or small size or uh -huh. something. Yeah, put another piece of metal mm -hmm. and make lift it up. Yeah. Just basically sham it. But what you're going to do is you're going to put, put one on each side and then mark them and cut them. So essentially what you'll have is have something that basically looks like this. And then we're going to have to drill into this and drill into that, and that will mount to the ridge for the box of the thing, right? And then the same thing for the front. You're going to make a bar that basically looks like that. So that's essentially what you're going to make. And the main thing is that making sure when you weld it, make sure that these two tabs are flat, so like that. Make sure those are flat on the ground when you weld it, because if you weld it and it's off like Even. this, it may make it wobble a little bit or, or make yeah. it hard to clip in. Or make something. it yeah, do it on the concrete. You don't yeah. have to worry about concrete get catching on fire. So what we're currently doing? So my parents went to the junkyard today, and we got a Honda Odyssey um, center console seat. Good. And because we took out my mom's and realized like, oh, this fits like absolutely perfect as a passenger seat directly next to the driver's seat. So what we're currently doing is we're making brackets. Um, it kind of clips in like right here with like the bar, like in the actual vehicle. So what we're doing is, is we're recreating that. Here we go. So here is what we're gonna put on the floor in the bus because what that makes it 
makes us able to do is it lets us uh, take off that seat whenever we feel like it as if you were doing it in the Odyssey. So we're makeshifting our own brackets so this will clip into the um, ne right next to the driver's seat on that flat part on the last stair on the bus. So stay tuned. Schoolie Palooza, here we come. <laughs> that thing is dead. Luckily I've got flash on. Right there. If anything, we could just oh, hold on, it came off. The front of the one just hooked onto yeah, it, right? Yeah, kind of hooked. Okay. So clear is this. That's nice. We might not need to uh, make those wooden shims after all. You think it's gonna fit? I think so. Even though it's the wood. And actually, even back, it's on the bracket, too, it looks like. I thought it was going to be close. I just wasn't sure if it'd be on there or not. I want you to look at it and see. Hey, you want to see? It's One of them's going into this, but that's metal. Yeah. Right. That's good enough. And what about the other one? I want you to look at it. it this one's going over in both of them. So that's, oh, yeah. Yeah? It looks like they're all good. Yeah. So... We finally got the brackets done, got them all welded in, got them just kind of screwed down for testing right now. Uh, Look at the weld. That looks nice. <laughs> the The problem right now is that this one isn't clicking in because the, if you can see the little black piece in here, right is here, hitting the metal floor before it's actually attaching to the rod. We already know how to solve it, but we have to do a couple more steps before we do that. But it is a working chair. And if all goes well, the, and that chair reclines, it reclines. It reclines like pretty far. It's more comfortable than it looks. And then the chair comes out. And, and other thing you have to show it gets flat. Folds flat enough to be able to store it really wherever we want. And just popped right back in place. This is just the rough cut of it without the floor. Oh, oh sorry. All right. Do you think this is strong enough to, or do you have to have something to make it? I think it's strong enough. I might just. There's floor under that too. Yeah. It's oh, that's floor. right. It's gonna go on top of, of the, the wood. Yeah, laminate floor. We can always drill it into the floor with like a wood screw. Yeah. Uh, if we really wanted to. But it makes but sense. So now what? Now we put the plywood on, mark it, and then you also mark gotta put the laminate on and mark it too. Mark it first, then mark the plywood, then put the laminate on, and yeah. yeah. What he said. All right, do it. Just like that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> How did this go on earlier? Probably it was not closed all the way. It was open, open all the way. Oh, I see, I see. Quite the details. <laughs> Thank you. Why don't you just sit down and put the seat belt too? There you go. Safe. And pretty comfortable. Pretty comfortable and retracts. That's cool. So this is the first day. On our first excursion to Palooza. Schooly Palooza, here we go. Oh yeah, we'll probably need some jumping cables just in case. Toilet. Oh, and cooler yes. and then bed that's yes. pretty much it that's it and this and a brand new passenger seat 